Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our segment this afternoon, let us begin with the prayers. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine patri et fili et spiriti sancti. Amen. Oratio imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted, may they restore to health soon. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Canungsod, pray for us. Prayer for Hands and Inclusion Philippines. God, our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands and Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including the former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of the recording, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQIA+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan and may stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or demeaning in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy we encountered. Or give us our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, health of the seed, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Clare of Montefalco, pray for us. San Juan Bautista, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Is the Tenth, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God Holy Spirit. Have mercy and change that of everyone, all organizations, and all the people who formerly worked with the organization and made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone in hands and inclusion. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In nomine Patri, et Fili, et Spiriti, Santi. Amen. Ang mga pananaw at opinyon na pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o payag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Ladies and gentlemen, and Happy New Year! Welcome to our first editorial segment for 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Today is Monday, January 4, 2021. We are broadcasting simultaneously on Into Radio and the Hans Meet Lucian Philippines YouTube page. We will begin our uh, segment with our verse for today from Micah 7 verse 18. Who is a God like you who pardons sin and forgives the transgression of the remnant of his inheritance? You do not stay angry forever but delight to show mercy. We will begin our topic proper in just a while. We will have some commercials. Now this.
Welcome back to Editorial, and this afternoon, we will discuss New Year's Resolution. What is New Year's Resolution? Why are we doing these resolutions? Well, we'll find out in this topic. New Year's Resolution, ladies and gentlemen, is a tradition most common in the Western Hemisphere, but also found in the Eastern Hemisphere, in which a person resolves to continue good practices change an undesired trait or behavior, accomplish a personal goal, or otherwise improve their life at the start of a new year. The new year is slowly nearing, and with the holiday season already upon us, many people are indulging in retrospection and reevaluating some of their life choices. New Year's resolutions are the perfect opportunity for all those that have failed to start making the changes that they said they would make next week, next month, or perhaps when winter starts. No matter what kind of resolution you make, according to Carl Brain, it's helpful to get others involved. Either have the same resolution as someone else, or tell someone about your goal, and ask the person to help you stick to it. Peer pressure works. Based on previous studies, Carl Brain says, it's also helpful to put money on the line Give money to a trusted friend with an arrangement that you'll get it back at the end of the year only if you fulfill your resolution. If you're not successful, your money should go to one of the groups or causes you hate the most. Carl Brain says, researchers have found that this carol and stick approach can be surprisingly successful. What are the essence of your resolution? Every year, as the Yuletide season approaches, we come to a point where we formulate a New Year's resolution to better or improve ourselves in the coming New Year. And it's for health reasons, personal or even for relationship purposes. Those ayaw ko na magpakati sa pag-ibig moments. New Year's resolutions are made to the broken, mostly. However, if one commits heart indeed to it, then it can be a good practice. As the new year comes, a new start to, sell, to start correcting mistakes of the past year, to start a good relationship or a good habit, but without consistency. It will just come to pass like dust in the wind. I believe that if one is determined to change, he can change no matter when or how. Having a new year's resolution can be helped. It's like a draft or pattern of your goal for the new year. How to make a new year's resolution. First, just pick one thing. Make it something concrete so you know exactly what change you're planning to make. If you're successful with the first change, you can go ahead and make another change after a month or so. By making small changes one year after the other, you still have the chance to be a whole new you at the end of the year, and it's a much more realistic way of doing it. Plan ahead. To ensure success, you need to research the change you're making and plan ahead so you have the resources available when you need them. Here are a few things you should do and prepare get all the things in place ready to make your change. So when you plan ahead, ladies and gentlemen, you need to make sure that it should be good, to be more successful, and also to get ready for it, especially in the coming year. When you say anticipate problems, ladies and gentlemen, there will be problems, so make a list of what they'll be. If you think about it, You'll be able to anticipate problems at certain times of the day with specific people or in special situations. Once you've identified the times that will probably be hard work out ways to cope with them when they inevitably crop up. Pick a start date. You don't have to make these changes on New Year's Day. That's the conventional wisdom. But if you would truly want to make changes and then pick a day when you know You'll be well rested, enthusiastic, and surrounded by positive people. I'll be waiting until my kids go back to school in February or something. Sometimes picking a date doesn't work. It's better to wait until your whole mind and body are fully ready to take on the challenge. You'll know when it is when the time comes. Go for it. On a big day, go for it 100%. Make a commitment and write it down on the card. 
You just need one short phrase you can carry in your wallet or keep it in your car by your bed and on your bathroom mirror too for an extra dose of positive reinforcement. Accept failure. If you do feel and sneak a cigarette, miss a walk or shout at the kids one morning and don't hate yourself for it. Make a note of the triggers that cause the setback and vow to learn a lesson from them. Plan rewards. Small rewards are great encouragement. To keep you going during the hardest first days. After that, you can probably reward yourself once a week with a magazine, a long-distance telephone call to your friend, a rest, a trip to the movies, or whatever makes you tick. Later, you can change the rewards to money, then at the end of the year, you can pick an anniversary one. Something that you look forward to. You deserve it, and you have to earn it. To wrap this up, a New Year's resolution is a tradition most common in the West, but it's also found in the East, in which a person resolves to continue good practices, to change an undesired trait or behavior, accomplish a personal goal, or otherwise improve their life at the start of the new year. A New Year's resolution is a promise to yourself, not just to yourself, but you will change something and do it differently next year. Okay. Okay. So guys, how to make a good New Year's resolution? So just think, use your common sense, dream big, break big, big things into small steps. Understand why you shouldn't make change. Just commit yourself, learn from your mistakes, you do be thankful for what you do. Make a change that can be daunting, but it doesn't have to be. Commit yourself. And if you followed your New Year's resolution, ladies and gentlemen, that means that you are good. Let's have some commercials right after. Let's have some commercials first. Now this. We have some more uh, good news. I have some good news, and my and one is a bad news. Let's have some good news first. Today is the birthday of one of our members in Hanson Inclusion, Danmar Dial. So happy birthday, Danmar, from your from our family and friends of Enhanced and Inclusion Philippines. May God bless you and expect the more birthdays you 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 wish. And of course, more birthdays to come. So, maligayang bati sa inyo, Danmar, mula sa, ati, mula sa, sa ngalan po ng Hanson Inclusion Philippines. 
And one I have to show you is a bad, sad news. Kahapon, uh, one of the cousins of Father Raul, uh, Isidra Mansueto Pasio, passed away. And because of this, sa mga nakikipanood sa akin, let us have a few moments of silence and pray for the eternal repose of his soul. I'll mute my mic in just a few minutes. Thank you. Okay, and um, eternal rest grant unto the soul of Isidra Mansueto Pasio, O Lord, and let her perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace and unto Isidra, O Lord, and let her perpetual light shine upon Isidra. May she rest in peace. Amen. May all the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Okay. Okay, so... Um, okay, so... Um, well, um, okay, so Okay, so um okay, and also uh, other announcements on January 11, 2021, some of the programs on um, Raja Singo will and 1PH will be integrated to that station. Okay. Okay, and also on uh, let's have some COVID nine DOH COVID nineteen. Okay. Let us now have our update. Okay. Okay. 
As of 4 o'clock afternoon today, the Department of Health confirmed the number of cases of COVID-19 in the country. 21,219 active cases, 448,279 recoveries, 9,263 deaths, with the overall total of 478,761. 508 number of positive, 9,582 are the number who tested. 5.3% are positive. Halos 8.96% ang mild at symptomatic na kaso. Top 5 uh, provinces and cities that have the highest number of cases. Quezon City, 73. Davao City, 70. Rizal, 58. Agusan del Sur, 44. Laguna, 41. 60% available ICU beds. 68% available slots for isolation beds. 77% available slots for ward beds. 79% available slots for ventilators. 81.7% are mild. 7.9% are asymptomatic. 6.4% critical. 3.4% severe, and 0.7% moderate. So why are the cases are like this? It's still due to the decrease of the number of patients seen in COVID-19 laboratories again throughout the holidays. So the Department of Health, led by Secretary Francisco T. Booker III, undermines, undermines, appeals to the public to be cautious in interpreting these numbers as an increase of cases in the coming weeks is still possible. The DOH continues to access the extent of the effects of the holiday season on COVID-19 transmission. The appeal to all stakeholders to be vigilant and guarding against complacency in the fight against COVID-19. And let us have our weather forecast for today as of 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The ITCZ is affecting Mindanao and Northeast Monsoon affecting Northern and Central Luzon. Because of this, Caraga, Davao Region, and Soxa Region will have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms due to the ITCZ. Cagayan Valley, Cordillera, the province of Aurora, and the northern portion of Quezon Province will have cloudy skies with light rains due to the Northeast Monsoon. NCR, Ilocos region, the rest of Central Luzon, and the rest of Calabar Zone will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated light rains caused by the Northeast monsoon. The rest of the country will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers due to localized thunderstorms. Moderate to strong winds coming from the Northeast will, have, will be affected by Northern and Central Luzon. Rest of Luzon in the eastern sections of Visayas and Mindanao will have moderate to strong winds coming from the east to northeast. The rest of Visayas and Mindanao will have light to moderate uh, winds coming from the northeast. The coastal waters of northern and central Luzon are moderate to rough. Rest of Luzon in the eastern sections of Visayas and Mindanao will have east to northeast and moderate to rough coastal waters. The rest of the size in Mindanao will have both slight to moderate. Our temperature for today is 23 degree, uh, 2 degrees Celsius and 31.6 degrees Celsius. Our sunset for today is at 5.40 in the afternoon. Sunrise tomorrow will be at 6.23 a.m. And also, as of today, we have a gale warning issued today due to the northeast monsoon for the northern seaboards of northern Luzon and the western seaboard of northern Luzon. Like, we would like to appeal to the, to, the sea, to the people who are doing fishing, is fishing boats and other small sea craft are advised not to venture out into the sea while the larger sea vessels are alerted against big waves. Okay. 
So let us have uh, have some shout outs. Uh, first to Andres Pajardo. Uh, thank you for watching. To my fellow Hanseling Inclusion members, good, good afternoon to all. To my family, hi! And also to my friends in Benil and in high in the Multiple Intelligence High School. Good afternoon also. And also to, well, I just passed all my subjects with an 82, 80 plus to uh, 100. So, maraming nagko congratulate sa akin. And all my friends are impressed with this. And also, okay. And also, um, and also to my family, hi, and also uh, to those who are watching in the world, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, okay? Okay, and also, uh, wait. And also, to sa mga, uh, Okay. 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 And, uh, well, uh, okay, so, um, and also, sana, um, pag ganito mga grades ko for this term, actually, sana, ipagdasan nyo, sa mga nakikipalat sa ating pakipag, paki, uh, pagdasan nyo lang po ako para makapag, Qualify na ako for the Dean's List for first term. Pagdasan niya lang po. Okay. And also, um, as we prepare for the celebrations of the, uh, of the celebration of the Feast of the Black Nazarene, I will play this song now. Wait.
Viva, viva, oh Nazareno. Ok. That will be all for today, this afternoon, on editorial sa Into Radio for Monday, January 3, 2021. On behalf of Anti Inclusion and Into Radio, I'm, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Tanahashi. Have a productive week ahead for all of us. Thank you. God bless us all. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Peace out. And pagbalain tayo na wa ng poong may kapal. We at Hans and Inclusion. Include us and include each other. We include together for one inclusion forever. H and I got first.